say now Jop Power finally beat B King in the house. Hey, I want to talk to y'all about something right quick, man. Now, I did a video. That shit had to be about eight, nine months ago. And I asked the sisters, I said, dude, the black man got to uh, be down with Jesus the day the black woman. I got the answer. Hell yeah. If your ass. Now, this is the original video. For my Facebook, it just wasn't even 10 seconds after I got off the phone with the uh the Christian sister. I just hit the live button. And so this is more fresh on my mind in this video. You see what I'm saying? But I wanted to show y'all this and play this out on TV for y'all. You see what I'm saying? Because I just seen somebody put a post up there on my YouTube talk about, uh, because I put a video up. It will, will black men, you know, have better, you know, chances in Brazil and in Latin America with the sisters. And then the brothers talking about, oh, King, don't be doing that shit, man. You know the sisters done been through slavery. Bro, they need to fix their mind, man. They need to fix their mind. There is no way in the hell <clears throat> would you, you know, bow down to a white man and you a strong black man. That We ain't in 1950. And the sad part of it is, who was more conscious then? Now they just gone. They'll say, well, this was my grandmama worship. Bro, grandmama didn't have the access to the information that we have access to today. And say, so people like that are block out inf new information to keep the slave mentality going. And they putting that shit into their children. And so they give the black child an inferiority complex. And so she don't really understand why she feel uncomfortable in her own skin. Black people, you know, them being taught that hate they self, hate your own, you know, brother and your own sister. So they walking around not feeling comfortable in their own skin. And see, I'm proud black man all day. So what I look like bowing down to a white man, period. That just like I said on the other video, that would be just like uh, a bunch of black men bowing down to, you know, Nancy Grace or something and saying, oh, she our God or whoever. You know what I'm saying? That's psychological enslavement. And the thing is, the Christians was forced into Christianity. So guess what? They'll try to force you into Christianity. You understand what I'm saying? The men, I'm talking about psychologically. They're going to try to force you. You can't come to a compromise with them. It's either they way. It's the only way. You see what I'm saying? And it can't be that. that if, if we take that ideology, then so if you meet a, 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 a sister from Jamaica, just because she's from Jamaica, Oh, we can't be together. I mean, what type of ideology is that? So it's all separatism, a hate group. And I wanted y'all to see uh, that I got hit with white supremacy in my own life right there. So, you know, if y'all, you know, don't get mad. Black community, you can't get mad if, if the brothers, you know, want to go explore other places than these, you know, you know, streets of America or whatnot. When you come for, you know, checking with the sisters or whatnot, you can't blame the brothers for wanting to go to Brazil or wanting to go to Africa. When you got this basket case over here, this pit bull, <laughs> the dude that uh play for the Clippers and shit, he was marrying the white woman. He say, "Why ain't marrying none of them goddamn bull dogs?" <laughs> now I see why. Now I see why. But he goofy. You know what I'm saying? He was marrying a white girl. So you was doing that shit in spite, my dude. Damn, I can't think of his name. But anyway, we talk about going and connect with other sisters in other countries. See, they ain't with all that hard exterior shit. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all good until one time you don't get your way type of shit. And then I read y'all them stats. All the, so... 
You trying to marry a black woman from America, that shit ain't even worth it. Because she could just, you, uh, uh, be with you, then jump to the next nigga. Be with you, then jump to the next nigga. And don't be no penalty for it or nothing. So if you do marry one of these basket cases up here in America, you better get a prenup, a tree nub, and all kind of other nubs. You see what I'm saying? Because they going to take you down through there. They're going to take you down through there. So what did I do? I set that trap. I set that trap. Again, 48 laws of power. Set that trap. And she fell right in it. You see what I'm saying? And so again, it ain't about burning bridges. It's about creating new ones. But I'm going to play this video. And it's about maybe 15 minutes. And I want y'all to listen to the, the conversation. Even if you talk about Jesus and he black, brown, send that collection plate around. Run it on the top. Jop Power, family. Big B King in the house. Hey, I want to talk to y'all about something right quick, man. Now, I did a video. That shit had to be about eight, nine months ago. And I asked the sisters, I said, dude, the black man got to uh, be down with Jesus the day the black woman. I got the answer. Hell yeah. If your ass, even if you talk about Jesus and he black, they ain't trying to hear that shit. They worship the white man. They worship the white man. And most of these Christians are hypocrites. If you ask a Christian to let's go to uh, the land that Jesus walked on, they get mad at you because they know it ain't America. It's Africa. They got an anti-African uh, sentiment with them. Period. They got an anti-African sentiment with them. See? Period. Christianity is an enemy to the black community. Period. Because all they talk about is hate and division. Period. So they fucking hypocrites. And then turn around and be like, oh, send that collection plate around. Send that collection plate around. You see what I'm saying? Never trust no goddamn mother talking about he a Christian. He a Christian. You better watch your wallet when you round them type of people. Period. They hypocrites. They hypocrites. Period. Now, I know a sister. I ought to call her name. I know a sister. A black woman now. A black woman now. That uh, say they want a good man. Let's let's get into it. Because don't nobody want no smoke with me. I call your ass out. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, they'll say they want a good man. But then they'll turn around and say, it ain't a real relationship if we ain't fighting. And then they'll turn around and say, oh, he too nice. What type of woman would take, uh, want a man that be mean to the, uh, the black woman in America, not all, because some of y'all just as beautiful and sweet and just as black as food. Not all. Some of these women out here, man. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they only out here to, you know, take your fucking money. Period. Period. The motherfuckers is a, 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 a trap at the end of the day. Not all, but some. Not all, but some. See, they say God is the father. But then you turn around and say, well, I'm the man in the relationship, which is the fucking father. They turn into some hypocrites. So they the ones that's out here separating the black man and black woman. The black Christian woman is out here separating the black woman. You don't want me as an enemy. Me as your friend. You want me as a friend. See what I'm saying? So... When you look at this sister, like I said in my video, I said, look, if, if, if you know, can the black man, you know, deal with a sister, you know, that don't like Jesus? See what I'm saying? And, you know, the black, the shit say, listen to this now. The shit say God was made in man image. But when you ask them Christians, they got up a white image. But it say God was uh, 
we was made in the image of God, but you black and shit, and they, the Christians got a white man up there. You was a fucking hypocrite. You was a fucking hypocrite. And then when you ask them these questions, they run. They immediately run. Period. Period. And then I sit up there, I was like, <laughs> you know, I asked the Christians and shit, and I deal with these type of people all day on my YouTube channel. Everybody go to my damn YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button and shit. See what I'm saying? Go over there and hit that because you need this information. Period. The black woman, period, is 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 more interested in an imaginary white white man than a real black man with a physical body. They'll choose an imaginary white man, a ghost, somebody that we can't even verify ever it fucking existed. Period. They'll choose that over a black man. Over a tangible song that they can, you know, touch. You see what I'm saying? But then you ask the motherfuckers and say, uh, you know, could they say my faith? Why well, be like, well, shit, tell Jesus, don't go to work tomorrow. Don't go to work tomorrow. Tell Jesus to pay your bills. Tell Jesus to pay your bills. See what I'm saying? Tell Jesus to pay your bills. See, they can't answer questions like that. That shit make them mad and shit. Cause they can, and then you ask them like, well, shit, I've been to Israel before. I've been to Israel before. Uh, why we can't find Jesus' body? You know what they'll say? They say uh, uh, a hand came out of the sky and grabbed his remains and pulled it up into heaven. Negro, please. Negro, please. I hate any Christian, any Jew, or any of that shit, especially them black pastors. Your ass don't got a chance. Hey. Y'all know, uh, what's the, what, what's the brother name? Brother, uh, Pastor Gino. Pastor Gino. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker funny as hell. He be lighting them goddamn coon ass Christians up. He be lighting they ass up because they hypocrites. Don't go spend nothing with them. Go, don't go spend nothing with them. Don't go spend nothing with them. They sending that collection. They scam. The black pastor is a scammer. The black pastor is a scammer. Period. When when the black pastor talk talk about, bro, have you been to Israel yet? Have you have you been to Ethiopia yet? Well, well, Jesus walk. He say walk in my footprint. And them motherfuckers are go to fighting against you, cause you tell them to say, well, let's go take a hodge to where your religion began. If if you a Christian and you want to learn about Christianity on a deeper level. And you don't want to go, you know, to Israel and into Ethiopia. What's wrong with you? Christianity didn't start in America. Period. 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 They gave you Christianity in America so you could be their slave. They wouldn't have to fight you no more. Period. So the black woman over here still stuck in that damn 1940 can't see you know, her two hands in front of her face. Period. Period. And they'll listen to an ideology that was created by the damn oppressed. And so, what are they doing today? They are making black people. Period. Look at every commercial that they show on TV and shit, right? And I just proved it to myself. Period. With the conversation, I just had a conversation with a black Christian woman. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't believe in that shit. You don't even want to go to your own homeland. Period. How you believe in Jesus and he tell you to walk in his footsteps and this man born in Ethiopia but you, just because you got some type of self-hate on yourself. Some type of self-hate on yourself. You don't want to go to Africa and see Man, I done lost plenty of people because, you know, I talk about, you know, the origins of black people. I talk about the origin of religion and shit, right? And so I don't fight people on their religion. I just show them where it come from. But they want to deal with the remix. 
don't understand they beat that shit into black people in America. They beat that shit into your grandmama. Your grandmama died never knowing the truth. Mine did too. Mine did too. But I tell you what, before she passed away, she at least got the message. Period. Black people ain't going with that shit no more. We done learned that that shit done came from them white people. Period. That shit done came from them. And that's the only thing that's holding black people back, especially when it comes to relationships. Period. Because they'll run to the white man. Period. They'll run to the white man and get a black man in trouble and have him all up in some child support shit. You know, not me. But I'm just saying, you know, I ain't no obsession either, but I'm just saying, like, they'll have them, and then they'll protect a white imaginary fucking Jesus that, that don't, know, don't nobody even know exists. That shit was created with Constantine in 332 B.C., period. And black people so hung up on that shit, they'll separate with their own family. A Christian will separate from, man, Christianity will kill more people than hate. Christianity did not kill more people than AIDS. So, sister, you hung up on Christianity, but you out here selling soul food. I'm, 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 I'm just, how's that work? Why? Because that soul food is a really slave food, period. Mm. But you will separate from the brothers. You a separate God, not white. God, nappy headed, just like me. And the sisters out here, they don't want to accept that. That shit ain't my fault. Go get your poom poom in your box to a white man, nigga. I just seen a uh, an article the other day. A sister that believed the same damn way went right out there and dated the white boy, and he killed the ass. Killed the ass. Killed the ass. These sisters out here want to date black men that whoop their ass. They don't want a black man that got their shit together because they want to keep that stereotype going, okay? Okay? All right? Period. Period. <laughs> and so, Christians is a goddamn hate group. They a hate group. Listen, bro, what type of woman that you got everything in common with, right? A separate with you on one little thing, the white man. They want to worship the white man. Hey, I'm B1. I'm black power. So I believe in having black babies, but everybody else following the damn system and doing the swirly swirl. Get away from these Negroes. Cut all these motherfuckers. I, you ain't hurting me. You ain't hurting me, you bro. Not me. You say your God is 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 greater than my God, but you walking around here, bro. Huh? How that work? How that work? How that work? I don't want your damn God. If I'ma be, he gonna have me suffering and shit. Why would I want your God? Period. That defeated. Listen here now. War is my God versus your God, period. My God versus your God. That's what war is. See what I'm saying? That's exactly what war is, my God. So when you lose, you accept the God of the conqueror. And that's what happened to Africa. And so most of these niggas over here is Christians. Why? Because the Roman Catholic Church sanctioned slavery. His name was Martin V. Uh, Queen Elizabeth and uh, what was the Queen of France name? They said uh, enslave all infidels. Period. Islam came into Africa in the 7th century AD. Now the Christian faction amongst black people in America this is why they don't like Islam. This is why they don't like Islam. It's because when in the 7th century AD, when the Arabs came into Africa, 
them motherfuckers is the Africans that sold the black Americans. Period. Period. This is why the black Americans don't like Farrakhan. This is why the black Americans don't like Farrakhan and Islam is because uh, the Africans that sold black people into slavery were Islamic. And the white man beat them into Christianity. And the black woman out here today, that's why when you go outside and you checking for you a black woman and shit, she out there checking for a white man. Period. Too stupid to see, you know, black brothers done came up. Too stupid to see. Too blind, look like Ray Charles. That's your, that's your loss, sister. When that motherfucking moon zungu, hey, uh, Serena Williams, she said her boyfriend stank when that motherfucker started sweating. <laughs> and these sisters out here is separating from the brothers on some Jesus shit. Because it's a white man. You trying to get in the white man pocket. I'm going to tell you how it is, nigga. I'm going to tell you how it is. Don't sit up here and act like, you know, you pro-black sister and you out here dating white men. Period. You had a black Jesus, you would be out here dating a black man, not no motherfucking moon zoom goos or these mo See, they'll go out there, a brother will walk up and holler at him, right? He dressed nice, looking good, smelling good, got a good job. Now I want to expound on that right there. Hey, if y'all, hey, like and subscribe and shit right quick. But, and go over there to my Facebook, Ja Power. You see what I'm saying? I got a very large following on Facebook. You see what I'm saying? We trying to tighten up the YouTube. That's why y'all got to be hitting them little bells and, you know, the thumbs up. Y'all got to do that shit to make the shit grow. They, You see they do this shit over here on, on Facebook. But anyway, we not going backwards. No matter which way you think of it, we not going backwards. And that's what exactly what that would be. That's exactly what that would be. Going backwards. We going back, you know. 30, 40 years, 100 years ago, still stuck in that mind frame. Man, it's time for black people to move on from that. And see, now when you narrow all this shit down, you can say, oh, oh it's, it's the finance. It's the education. When you're talking about what's wrong with black people. Uh, it, it, all these they, the niggas fighting each other and we need to unite and all this shit. How the hell is we going to unite and you know, because when you boil it all the way down to what it really is wrong with black people, you still worshiping the, the worshiping the enemy. You worshiping the enemy. And now that I have seen that right before my eyes, now with see, because that shit getting me closer to Africa. Period. Because you know that little ball in the chain and shit that be on the prisoners. That's what them motherfuckers was for me. Them women, obviously some scorned ass women. But them was women that had been in my life for some, one of them 18, 20 years. Another one, uh, like maybe 10, 15 years. Then the other one, maybe like five years. I got rid of all three of them motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? But I didn't do it in the mean way. You see what I'm saying? Again, I had been reading that 48 Laws of Power, and it showed me how to do the shit. You see what I'm saying? And so I set different traps because one of them was a gambler and shit. And so, you know, for a gambler, that motherfucker, wherever the money and shit, just like a rat with some cheese, they're going to come to it. But see, I put that money on that mouse trap, and then as soon as she grabbed for that shit, it broke her damn neck. And now she running around, ain't no telling what the fuck she doing out here to get some money. You, you, you did. You see what I'm saying? You did. And the other one, too. This one right here I'm talking about, too. Ain't no telling what she about to be out there doing to get some money. Because the family only going to go so far. You over there begging them and begging them. She, and she got a job, but she got all these goddamn bills. Uh, damn near two, three thousand dollars in bills every, uh, bills every month over there struggling. And I have been helping you. But see, now that they are done unlocked their key and that ball and chain off my foot, you going to be just sitting over there in misery trying to, you know, do a seance and get, get Jesus to come and drop you off a check and shit. And the ones that got their stimulus check today, guess what they over there saying? Thank God. 
Thank God. Guess who gave him the chip? The chick. The white man. All right. All right. See, it's psychological today. It ain't physical. It's psychological. But don't say something wrong with me. Because I'm saying, telling the brother, shit, you better bounce. You know what I'm saying? You better bounce. You deserve that shit. You see what I'm saying? But you don't deserve this shit that you getting from these, you know, sisters over here in America. You don't deserve that shit. I'm not talking all sisters again. Some of these sisters, uh, you see them right there. All these sisters right here agree with what I'm saying. Like, hell nah, motherfucker, we ain't doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? And the rest of them comments is the Christians down there. I ain't even gonna get him no shine. You see, I ain't even gonna get him no shine. They down there hating in the bottom of the comments and shit. But, uh, you know, leave me a little comment down here and tell me what you think. You better get away from these pit bulls up here. They gonna goddamn trick your ass and lure your ass into a trap. You know what I'm saying? And that thing, you know, you gonna be over there broke and in misery with her ass. Talk about Jesus gonna save us. <laughs> Oh my God! Get uh, the only person that got money in Christianity is the pastor. Even if you look, how is the church still open when you can't have church doing a coronavirus? They being paid by the government to keep you niggas corralled and shit, keep you niggas stupid, keep you niggas. So the problem in the back community, like I have always said, is that God shit. Until we check that guy shit, we're going to be forever a slave. Jump power. Like, subscribe, and thumb up the video.